Hello there, how are you? Welcome back to the Rockstar Dad channel. Sorry, I got it wrong. He's not an Englishman. He is a Welshman, which probably explains some of the Welsh magic. Let me do the wee quick subscribe thing. It's Rockstar Dad, baby. It's Rockstar Daddy, yo. I'm coming at you. Won't you subscribe, baby? Please keep subscribing guys, the comments are brilliant, I'm finding out so much stuff of people just saying, okay, check out this song, have a little listen to that, I'm going to go through each one as I come at them, and this next one that I'm going to do is a lot of people were saying do Jenny and Screech, so I've got the video up here for it, and it's 13 and a half minutes long, which is brilliant because, I mean, it's split up into three parts somehow I don't know what awaits me here whether it's a one song or the same song three different versions I don't know but what does appeal to me straight away it's not three minutes long like so many commercial songs nowadays you know thinking that human beings can't actually watch something longer than three minutes or keep their attention focused on something so let's dive straight into it oh I've also got a Patreon account set up as well some of you guys were like can I buy you a coffee we don't get paid for these videos, the money goes straight to the artists as it should. All we are doing is just watching it and talking about it, so why should we? But um, if you want to get us a little coffee, that would be much appreciated. Patreon link is down here. Yeah, yeah baby! baby. Classical, again. It's classical, neoclassical influence. Totally live. He's got mics on him. Warts and all. Brilliant. In a city. Great. It was a quiet dark night in the empty street Somewhere in London City Jenny walked alone, she was dragging her feet She was heading back home to sleep Well she knew this town, she knew this floor Because she walked it about a thousand times before She wanted to escape Can you blame? Well on the very same night in a different place There was this hooded young youth by the name of James He was 14 years old and out of his brain He'd been smoking ganja with the boys James, he grew up to be a kid of the street His mates called him Screech, he was quick on his feet He was a liar, a thief, but 14 years old The devil had set his sights on his soul as Jenny walked home all alone, she felt scared. Usually she was alright, but it was like there was something in the air. A divine intervention telling her to beware. Maybe intuition bogging her and making her so scared. Sirens sounded in the distance at the beat of Jenny's feet. A symphony of the night that echoes crime on London streets. Jenny turns a corner, their eyes they meet. Our poor girl Jenny, a boy named Screech. Give me all your money, bitch, give it to me. If you cooperate, then you'll soon be free. I want your purse, your phone, don't fucking look at me. I mean it. Bitch, are you listening to me? Jenny freezes statue like a lady shakes stalactite Fear like liquid nitrogen in the dark night She tried to find strength to move But stayed as still as a statue in high heeled shoes What the hell are you playing at? You playing games with me? I swear to fucking God I'll slice the rosy off your cheeks You think I don't mean it though? You don't know me? The last thing you see will be a boy called Screech reach with the sheath of the blade With the teeth that could bite through steel And slice concrete And he swung possessed with the devil in his chest and the statue she was turned to butter in her breath It was a quiet dark night in an empty street Somewhere at Nantua City Jenny lay still on the cold concrete She's far out somewhere to sleep Well she knew this town, she knew this floor Cause she'd walked it about a thousand times before I guess that she escaped it's such a shame Let's stop it there That's the end of the first section That's horrific Don't know if that's happened to anybody that's watching If you've been mugged But it's a horrific ordeal to go through And it's primal 
what happens. Happened to me about 20 years ago. I was in a park. It was daytime. I was going for a walk and a guy comes out of the blue and he pulls a kitchen knife out of his jacket. At the time, I was maybe 25. He was maybe 18, 19, a young kid. And he says, right, can do this. Easy wear the hard way. Give us your wallet. Now, you go into primal mode at that point and I probably didn't make the right move. I flipped. I went crazy. I ended up chasing this boy over the park and I was lucky because he ran. If he didn't run there, I probably wouldn't be here. Like Ren is saying here, run. If someone pulls a knife on you, the best thing to do, run as fast as you can because even if you're He-Man, a knife against He-Man, you can slip, the other person can slip. It's just nasty. This whole The whole tale there is nasty. Now he's making that up. Maybe it's coming from, maybe he was mugged himself, maybe he got a lucky escape, maybe he knows someone that got killed, I don't know. But it's what is brilliant there is his communication of it. You feel it. I've got this nasty feeling here as I'm watching that. And he's going into these characters. He's just shifting into both these characters. His acting skills are brilliant. His performance is full on. His eye contact, they've chose to shoot where something like that would happen in a, a city centre, in a cold city centre. What? hits me straight away about this guy especially on another track that I did the reaction to last week is his neoclassical influence what he's playing is heavily classically influenced harmonically the guitar playing a lot of the chords um, what's he got now um, So he's playing some kind of cool thing at the start, right? Um, and then he's got... Um, he's got like an A minor, D minor thing going on there. I think there's probably... Yeah, there's definitely some kind of dominant E7 in there. I think I could hear that on the end of A minor 6 in there, which is really nice. Which is telling me that this guy knows what he's on about. I think he's been into the metal when he's been younger and he's learned his guitar skills from metal songs and rock songs. A lot of the stuff he's playing there is heavy metal guitar techniques. We're going to carry on. It's dark. I can't believe you've suggested watch this. I'm going to have nightmares after this. Thank you. <laughs> no, it's brilliant. It's absolute class. Okay, let's go. Rock. I could hear that in a loop. Let me in, please open the door I think I fucked up Patrick, really fucked up man I'm not sure, I got crazy Left this lady lying still on the floor I think I killed her Patrick, come on man I can't knock no more But Screech kept on knocking Till his knuckles became sore But there's no sign of Patrick down at number 54 No refuge for our villain For the bitter hands of fate With something far more sinister in mind Does away Hey babe, are you in? Now nothing really, I'm just a bit tired, listen. Can I swing around yours for a few moments? I just really miss you babe. 
What the fuck do you mean you're busy? You fucking bitch! For fuck's sakes! Siren sounds approaching like a banshee in the night The shrill cry of justice cutting like the sharpest knife But Screech was never one to run, not one to miss a fight One hand upon his blade, he turned to face the blue lights Come on then you fucking cunts, let's fucking have you then I am Screech, I'm the boss, I'm the ender of men You think that uniform you're wearing means that you own these streets? These are my fucking streets and they call me fucking Screech Richard was an officer who stood at six foot three Working London on the night shift, what he didn't think he'd see Was a boy running at him like an animal possessed with no time to hesitate, he fired four bullets at Screech's chest. Ah, story it ends right at the start. Young Screech and poor Jenny Lying one street apart An officer shaken By the boy that he claimed Two bodies lay lifeless And it's such a shame It's such a shame James Bond chord <laughs> Did you hear that there, that James Bond chord? Beautiful. He knows what he's doing with the music, obviously. He's a skilled musician. That bit of virtuoso playing at the start. Um What I thought was beautiful was the chords he's playing, he's in a minor key, he's in E minor, right, and, he, and you've got an E minor scale. Now the second chord he's playing, he's jumping it, he's playing... Lovely. Lovely harmonic shift. This guy in a past life, 100% was a wandering minstrel because that's what he's doing there. He's walking about, he's telling a story. You don't need a movie with this, right? That's what's brilliant about this. It is basic. It's him, a guitar, there's a microphone on him. Apart from that, and the camera, that's all the technology that's being used here. Sometimes technology can cloud stuff, right? It gets in the way. He's not using crazy effects. He's not got mad vocal tuning or vocal stuff going on. It's him, a guitar, but the power of his communication and going in and out of these different characters, you know, really portraying the scene. What a lesson in showmanship. What an absolute lesson in how to perform a song. This guy, he, he's, he gets in character. He's like, that bit at the end was scary. The bit, you know, he's walking down the street and the, the officer shoots him. Brilliant bit of camera work. They've obviously choreographed it. Back to basics, no messing about. He's definitely got influence from the classical period. I don't know if you guys believe in past lives and all that. I, I love all those theories, right? Like, what were you in the past? And I think this dude definitely was a wandering minstrel because the, the chords he's playing are all neoclassical sounding. Now, I don't know if you guys know, some of you guys will know this, the classical time period. Classical time period was around about 1700. So you've got composers like Mozart around that time. Before then, that bit of music he was playing right at the start, that sounded more Baroque. That was 100 years before people like Johann Sebastian Bach right? He's the big name from the, the Baroque period, harpsichords and that kind of stuff, right? And then after the classical period, you've got Tchaikovsky, next hundred years, I love Tchaikovsky. And then after that, you've got modern music, 
what they're going to call modern music in 400 years time, right? They're still modern music. But from the modern period, you've got composers like Stravinsky. Check out Stravinsky. Some of his stuff is brilliant. It's similar to this. It paints a picture. Your mind does the work. It's like reading a book. You have the movie theatre in your mind. The words tell your mind what to do like this. But what's going to happen now? You know, there's, there's like seven, it's pretty much half of the song left and they're both did. What's going to happen from now on, I am interested to find out. Let's carry on. Let's get stuck back in there. We'll see what happens to Jenny and Screech. Well, we know what's happened to him. Great guitar playing. Definitely a minstrel dude. Metal kid, 100%. are constructed classically like a classical composer would construct section wise London City far from pretty 2005 a lady down in Paddington is fighting just to stay alive rhythmic beeps and blood stains she saw a lady She's tired and frail To set the scene We must rewind The hands of time For Violet's tale Every night he took a tie but never left the room I'll spare you with the things he did, I'm sure her mother knew Violet was a silent girl, she moved out at 16 A semi-detached council flat, paid for by a welfare scheme Packing shelves at Tesco, stacking jars like pickled bricks She met a boy named Stevie and he was a little prick Violet was a silent girl and Violet she fell fast See Stevie was the wrong one but he sure knew how to charm her Every night he took a tie but never left the room History repeats itself, he paint her black and blue and dark She never stood a chance The devil comes to dine Violet, why are you always so quiet? On her bedroom door in his diary. He's been drinking and smoking, he's up late. And he stands by her bedside, she shakes. But her eyes stay shut. You fucking slut, I know you're up. And he pinches her eyelids and folds them up. Violet, why are you lying to me, Violet? She stays silent, things turn violent. That's the sound of his fists when they fall like a crashing pilot. Hit like hailstones, one to the collarbone, full force, full blown, blood black bone, crack, knick, knack, paddy whack, one to the jaw when the tooth spat, detached, fist connects and disconnects a bone. A quick deflect to misdirect the blow, but nonetheless his punches met her throat. Such a mess he's left the bruised and broke. Violet, why are you always so silent, Violet? Why are you such a little liar, Violet? Do you think I wanna do this, Violet? 
in character. She stays silent. Well, say something, Violet. Silence. Fucking say something, Violet. Silence. Wait. Say something, Violet. Not one word. She stays quiet. London City, far from pretty, 2005 A lady down in Paddington is fighting just to stay alive The doctor, in a state of shock, saw something here so very wrong See Violet, she was pregnant, poor Violet she was nine months gone Turning to the doctor Violet broke her silence And she cried If I'm to die Right here tonight Please let my baby stay alive The doctor soon regained composure Called the surgeon to come in As Violet's world turned to black The curtains closed The lights went dim In London City Far from pretty 2005 A lady down in Paddington just lost the fight to stay alive A tragedy or a miracle It happened on these very streets Two twins aligned side by side A girl named Jenny And a boy named Screech Nasty, right? That's nasty. I'm going to have nightmares after that. Wow, this kid is immense. <laughs> you guys were right when, you know, you said you're going to go on some journey here. That's horrific. Do you know what bit I loved when it goes into the hall and they're in the big staircase and you can hear the, you can hear it throughout, the different reverbs, the different, which is beautiful in the ears, right? You can hear this. But it's horrific. He's painting this story of horror so well. It, it just makes you your blood curdle when you, you hear of this. It's shocking to think this stuff happens. You know, obviously it does every day. And it's, you know, it's worth even right now just sparing a thought for people and saying a wee prayer for people like that because it's that stuff does happen. This kid's great. Something special. He goes in and out of those characters, shakes them off. You see him shake it off. And then... If any of you guys are performers out there and you get nervous, it's a real good way to... I don't think he's nervous, but if you guys do, take a deep breath, release, shake off any kind of nervousness. I'm going to have to go and, and take a breath of fresh air after this because that was dark, man. That was real dark, that story. What a talent this guy is. I need to hear more stuff. What do I do next? Let me know in the comments which one I do next. What a player. What a guitar player. He's doing all the, the, the tapping stuff. Um, I was one of those kids as well. He was definitely a metal kid because in the song I reacted to before, the middle eight section, that was metal. This is metal too. There's elements of metal. But Ren here was definitely a wandering minstrel in a past life because that and, and a well paid one because he knows what he's doing what a great musician there's so much in there I wish I could sit and talk about it all day but I'll catch you in the next one please subscribe I'll see you guys later yeah